So welcome everyone. Welcome to the IPH, the Innovation Powerhouse and our Corrosion Pod. Today we will discuss two types of how to recognize that there is corrosion on your asset. The one type is the corrosion on the asset, which you can inspect via visual recognition. Here it is quite easy to detect that there is corrosion and this can be done by computer vision. On the other side we have corrosion under insulation. So when it comes to large variances in the temperature and humid air, it is very likely that you have corrosion on your asset. But when you have an insulation around your asset, then it's quite difficult to detect it. There are different technologies out there in the market. You can use ultrasonic, for example, or you can use something like we have here built up. This is a sensor called Corrosion Radar from one on, uh, of the startups we are featuring here in our innovation center. Uh, the startup is based in Cambridge and we have a close collaboration with them. Their USP is that they can wrap a corrosion and moisture detector basically around any geometry of any asset. Sometimes you have a geometry on your asset which does not allow to apply ultrasonic to your asset. But in this case, we can use the corrosion radar sensor to basically attach it to any asset you have. So like you can see here, we have the corrosion radar box, which is connected over either the LAN uh, or a um, wireless LAN with the internet. This box is basically sending real-time information to your central place where you collect the information. Then you have two wires coming out of this box here. So one wire goes to the detector for moisture and one wire goes to the detector for corrosion. How does it work? So we have this one wire here. This wire is wrapped around this asset. Like I said already, it can be of any geometry. You can either have it as one cable or you can use it as a net. So when you take, for example, a spray and spray it on the asset, you can see that within a couple of seconds, the detector will see that there is humidity on the asset and will basically show it here. The important thing here is that the cable and the length relates to what has been shown here on this graph. So for example, here you see zero, 2.5 meters, five meters, and so on. Based on the indicator where the color is, you can see that the humidity must be um, along the 7.5 and, and, and the 10 meters. This gives an indication on where the humidity on this asset is. This is very important because then you do not need to basically unwrap the whole asset. You can easily detect it within a certain threshold here. The second part of this demo is how to detect corrosion. So on the other side, we have here the detector for corrosion. You wrap it around this asset like you do it for the humidity sensor. This detector for corrosion does not really detect the corrosion itself on the asset, but um, the detector itself is basically replicating the corrosion which happens to the asset itself. So when you have a closer look at it, you can see that this detector is basically wrapped around with a cable which starts corroding in the same speed like the asset. This way, you can easily detect if there is corrosion already um, on this particular part on your asset. Like on the graph for the humidity, you can also see here, um, based on the scale, where you can find the corrosion. Since corrosion doesn't happen just from one to the other second, it is important to monitor the corrosion level for a longer term and then decide on the best basically, point in time to replace um, the asset. This was corrosion under insulation. When you do not have an insulation wrapped around your asset, you can use also computer vision to detect it. Computer vision can be done by just a regular camera, a steady camera, or maybe also by a drone. Here is an example of how we did it. So basically we took a pipe and obviously it's corroded on one part. Right now in this demonstration, we will take a DSLR camera, place it on this asset and take a picture. This picture will then be sent to a platform which is called Optelos, will be analyzed within a few seconds. And if corrosion is found, it will directly open a ticket in the field service management on our ServiceNow instance. So let's have a look. So here we can see the corroded pipe. In front of our pipe is our DSLR camera. 
It could also be attached to a drone. This DSLR camera is right now pointed at the corrosion and linked to our platform. We will now take a picture and send it to the Optelos platform. After the picture is taken, the computer vision algorithm will look for corrosion on this picture. It will be sent to the Optelos platform and will be analyzed within roughly eight seconds. The Optelos platform will then give us back the response if corrosion is found on this image. You can see here on the left side that the status is still not classified. After a few seconds, we will get the result. Obviously, Optelos has found corrosion on this image. On the right side, a corrosion tag is edited to this picture. At the same time, a ticket in the ServiceNow field service management platform is created. This ticket will now be dispatched to any worker who is close by and has the available material to inspect this asset. So, these were two possible ways how to detect corrosion on assets. There are many more possibilities out there in the market. You could use ultrasonic, you could also use little crawlers going through the pipes. It always depends on the shape, the geometry and the type of the asset you have. One last point about corrosion. Corrosion is nothing which happens from right now in this second to the other second. So it is important to monitor it. Corrosion itself is nothing which should be eliminated right now. It rather takes some time until it sh the asset should be replaced. The important thing is here that you gather data and give it then to the integrity manager. And the integrity manager is the one who is deciding on when is the right level to replace this asset. It's never good to replace it directly. It is always good to just wait to just have a plant outage. On the other side, you do not want to cross this critical line of basically going into this risk zone. It is always important to have this middle and this perfect line. And this is something which the integrity manager is doing. Therefore, it is important to gather as much data as possible and give a basically a, a good ground for decision making for the integrity management. To be a good decision maker, you need a lot of data. And this is then actually to be covered by these sensors here. So this is the corrosion management. I hope uh, you liked it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are interested to learn more, we welcome you to the Essen Innovation Center of Accenture in the Zeche Zollverein in Essen in Germany. The description with the contact details can be found below.